what an exciting time. Dreamville is back and we are just days away from seeing how this year shapes up. And as you mentioned, there are a lot of new things coming this year because they've been paying attention to the past couple of years. The more people that are coming, the more money that's coming into Wake County and North Carolina as a whole. So they've been planning for that and they've tried to make improvements so they can build upon that. So this year with all the more people coming in, they've already seen a lot of these hotels sell out. They're going to be adding more shuttles to the downtown area to get people in and out of the park better safely. They've also been working to figure out how to do that more with ride share as well. Now, once you're inside the festival, there's going to be more EMS. There's going to be more Raleigh police officers inside for safety measures. I've also heard if you're one from the past few years, there's going to be flushable toilets as well, which was a big deal for a lot of people if you're spending a lot of hours out here. But a lot of these new improvements is just building upon what we saw last year. Now, their new economic report literally just dropped earlier today, and it shows us that they had about $145.9 million in economic impact from last year's festival. So that is about equivalent to 1,300 full-time jobs, and that had more than 100,000 festival goers from all over the country and from 23 other countries across four continents. And even last year, hotels were mostly sold out. So that's a big improvement from last year, and that is a big thing for last year. They're hoping to improve on that from this year. And so it's really exciting. We heard from Wake County leaders. We heard from Raleigh leaders as well as the festival leaders who told me that they really excited to see more people come into Raleigh, showcase more local artists, also more artists who are from other places and shine a light on there. And if you have been going to Dreamville the past few years, you might recognize this couch here. This is one of the art installations they brought two years ago, and it continues to be one of those standout things for Dreamville Festival that they will continue to bring back. There's going to be more music and art installations there, so there's a lot to look forward to, and a lot of people have been working really hard to make this the best yet.